Unless he hunching his mama. Why he hunching y'all? Then he'll treat y'all the same. I just be thinking it through. I just be thinking it through. Listen, we got a good, we got a good new mama. You heard I say a good new mama. They say a woman who had done gave birth at a Houston gas station. She did the unthinkable. Her baby did the unthinkable. You know we love the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A woman is accused of giving birth in a gas station in Southwest Houston, then leaving the dead newborn in a toilet. Investigators say she made no attempt to save the baby's life. She left the baby in the toilet. Baby trying to swim in. Hey, mama. Can't get out. Oh, bam. Too early. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Bill Barajas. KPRC2 has obtained court documents that detail the allegations against that woman. 25-year-old Diana Zavala Lopez. Diana Zavala Lopez. Charged with tampering with evidence, specifically a human corpse. She was arrested Tuesday in Brownsville. KPRC2's Courtly Peel joins us live. What do you mean tampering with a human corpse? if she had the baby and left the baby inside the toilet. But then y'all say that she didn't do anything to try to save the baby. So once she dropped, <laughs> once she released the baby, that thing said, poop, it came on that like a poop, but it was like more than that right there. And the baby came out. If she didn't try to help the baby, then she never bothered the baby. So how's that tampering with a corpse? And hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If she had birth and she left the baby inside of the toilet, how is that tampering with a corpse if the baby was alive? Unless they tell us that the baby had done died. Outside the gas station off South Post Oak Road with what Zavala told police after she was caught. Yeah, and what she told. Bill, those documents show that Zavala told police she didn't know she was pregnant, and she stopped by this gas station after a party because she was in pain. This surveillance video shows Zavala walking into the gas station that night. The record shows she changed her story, but oh. <laughs> that baby say, I ain't know I was pregnant. I started feeling funny at the party. Whoa, wait, wait, huh? And they say that she changed the store. She was in pain. This surveillance video shows Zavala walking into the gas station that night. The record shows she changed her story, but ultimately told detectives that she gave birth, saw the baby girl's face down in the toilet, and did not attempt to save the baby's life before. So the baby was was alive. The baby was alive. The baby was face down inside the toilet. So you have to understand, she went. She went to the gas station because she thought that she had the boo-boo. Because she wasn't feeling too good. So let's go to the closest place. And if you pay attention to how she's walking from, from the car, she walked like her booty big. You know what I'm saying? Where she like side to side to side. Or, or maybe she's walking trying to squeeze that monkey. No, maybe she walking because she's squeezing like her booty. This surveillance yeah. video shows Watch Zavala it. walking into the gas station that night. Right this record shows she changed. She got that walk. She got that look on her face. She looked cute right there, right there, though. Story, but ultimately told detectives that she gave birth, saw the baby girl's face down in the toilet, and did not attempt to save the baby's life before leaving. But, but she didn't know what she was going to She didn't know that she was pregnant, so she did not know that if... If a child's face is face down inside the water, that you need to go in on the tilt the face or something. Bring the baby out. Give it to the worker. I don't. I, mm -mm. But because she did not know that she was pregnant, that's why she did not help the baby. Go, go. Investigators say someone cleaning the restroom found the baby, thinking that someone was pulling a prank on them. They told. Do me you know how stank that monkey is? Did she take the afterbirth out, though? Oh, my God. This baby probably didn't take the afterbirth out, though. Mm. I'm just thinking about it. Here, watch it. How did she cut the umbilical cord? Did she rip the umbilical cord? Is the umbilical cord hooked up to the bag that's left in the baby? Huh? Come on, come on, mothers. <laughs> come on, quit, quit, quit with it. You say she cut it with her teeth. That's a possibility because that little cord, 
that little extension cord be kind of long. You know what I'm saying? You can get and gnaw it off. Ooh, so her breath stink too. Oh, she probably rinsed her mouth out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The placenta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Say, no, nah, she not attractive. But that baby was cute in the face, though. <laughs> The baby appeared to be full size, and surveillance video showed Zavala walking out of the store. She was then seen leaving in this white Cadillac. Walking out of the store, booty free now. She ain't got the squeeze, you know what I'm saying? She walked out, that, that baby got them tights on. She had her hair combed back and stuff. Oh, cutie. Tried to get away with it, baby, but eh, you didn't. Several contacted Crime Stoppers with tips about Zavala, and a tipster told police her car was found outside a home, and she appeared to be packing up her things. Where you going, baby? Shout out to Logan J for the two dollar super chat. You say, is she in no abort? Oh, oh, is she in a no abortion state? What is this, Houston? Can y'all get birth control? Birth? <laughs> we passed, passed the birth. Well, abortions is is birth control, but they say that it's not. Okay, cute. Can you get abortions in Houston? That's a good point. But where was this baby going? Her car was found outside a home, and she appeared to be packing up her things. These photos we received show police outside that home on Tuesday, and detectives say Zavala ultimately was captured while trying to cross the border in Mexico. Now the that baby was fleeing. Oh, he said, no, not in Texas. It's illegal. He said, the closest place to New Mexico. That baby going to Mexico out here in these street, man, up about a dead baby. We don't, we don't run by that right there. Baby, listen, you can claim postpartum, mental issues. You can claim a whole bunch of stuff. And I mean, they'll sit you down for like 30 days or something, and then they will release you, baby, because, you know, you're going through some stuff was captured while trying to cross the border in Mexico. Now, detectives also spoke with Zavala's parents, who said that they did not know she was pregnant, but her mother did appear to be suspicious because... They didn't know she was pregnant, but her mother was suspicious. She said Zavala had some pregnancy-like symptoms and was taking prenatal vitamins. We did she was taking prenatal vitamins and had pregnancy-like symptoms. And her mama didn't know. Got it. Shout to her family for comment, but they did not want to speak about this matter. Now, Zavala has been issued a $250,000 bond. Reporting live, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News. Thank you. She didn't mean to kill her, baby. The baby just came at the wrong time. A woman is accused of giving birth in a gas station in Southwest Houston. She walking like, boy, I hope ain't nobody in the bathroom. I think I got the boo-boo, and I ain't going to make it home, baby. I Promise you. These these good mamas out here. This is a good mama. Good damn it. We was told that you can abort whenever you get ready. Uh 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 her body, her baby. I want y'all to understand that baby left out of of the gas station. <laughs> Monk is sour. Sour out here in the, in the street, baby. Oh my god. Ooh. And then she got back in the car. She sat down. And she went home to pack. So she didn't even have time like to take a bath or clean the seats or nothing. Just pooping and shit. Y'all doing too much. Listen. I saw something.